environment. It is something interesting because it actually mimics the same habitat level found in the North Pacific. It's going to be a very rocky shore environment, but typically they have to be sleeping or relaxing in the shoreline. And just seeing if they're big, calling the source of food. Now, on this habitat here, you do have the freedom to be able to interact with them by feeding them. So then if you are interested in being able to feed some of our seals or seals, you're really looking to go over to our seals. Yes, you want to do better than this. And you can purchase some food from our friends for the VA to offer it. Now, one interesting thing that you want to make sure is we're not actually feeding the seals or the seals from any habitat that might have tried any parts of the habitat that have any wooden sticks. So if you see wooden sticks in front of you, Go ahead and find another man who wants to be able to feed a seal or a sea lion. You're more than welcome to just grab the fish from the center of the body, make eye contact with the seal or sea lion you want to feed, and just throw it straight at them. Just keep in mind, cover your food. You don't want a fish or a bird to try a bird to steal your fish. Those fish are for the seal and sea lion. Now, like I was saying, my name is Andy. I'm halfway through the habitat. If you have any questions, feel free to talk about all your questions. I'm going to ask you a bird over here. Your questions related to seals or sea lions or eating. Part question to ask well. It's got like a long, 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 long,